What is the wisdom in believing in the unseen? Because what we see with these eyes is not real. This, these eyes are not real, and what we see with these eyes, it is not real. This, everything that is outside is indicating something that we already have inside. And what is the outside is only just a little bit of what we have in the inside, just like an iceberg. You see the iceberg outside, it looks so big, but it's only a small thing. The reality of the iceberg is hidden. The reality of a man is hidden. The reality of this world cannot be seen with these eyes. These eyes can only be seen, be seeing this, and this is a sign. Allah has created creation as a sign of Him. But if you don't look at this as a sign, you look at this as a reality, then you are in trouble. And every prophet has come to say, this is a sign, this is a sign. It is not the reality. Every awliya, every person who is holy, everyone is saying, your own understanding and your own conscience and your own wisdom knows that this is a sign. Something came from before and we're going to something that is in the future. When you say that this, is a, this sign is all that there is, it's like a man saying, he saw a sign. The sign says, uh, for example, the sign says, uh, to the cafe. Sign says, to the cafe. Is it the cafe? Yes, it is. You see anyone going to the sign uh, that says exit, and then they're sitting by the sign, uh, exit, and they say, what are you doing there? It's exit. How you know? It's a sign. This is real. This is, uh, no, it's just pointing. Correct or no? This is the dunya. This is the scene. It is a sign to the unseen, and the unseen is unseen to these eyes. The unseen, it is seen through these eyes, and these eyes are first, and these eyes are real, these eyes are not. Just as that sign, you can see that sign. When that sign says exit, you see that sign. But do you actually see the exit and everything else is going to come after the exit? No, you don't. Especially now, before you come to the exit, there are signs that says, exit uh, 38 coming up. Exit 38 coming up. This is the exit. No, before, 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 until you come. You never say the, the even the sign that says exit coming up, you cannot just take the exit there. And that is not the exit. You have to wait until the time where it is, you really have to go in there but that exit itself, the reality of that exit, is not something that you can see when you are there passing through. You have to enter through there. And when you enter through that exit now, that sign, do you carry it with you? You have to throw it away because you're already there. We came from the unseen. The unseen is what is real. The seen these five senses, what is this world, this is created, especially mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything saying kun faya kun, except for mankind. Everything, Allah is saying kun faya kun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created these unknown galaxies and unknown realities. By just by saying be and it is. Mankind, no. Mankind, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took time. So our own reality, our own unseen, oh, is something else. Don't you know? Even living in this world, you must know that. How you know that? Hmm. How you know that scene, that thing that you see is the same thing that you are seeing, or you are seeing, or you are seeing, or you are seeing? We just assume, everyone is saying, okay, I see an apple. Is it an apple? Yes, it's an apple. But to you, an apple means something. To you, an apple means something. To you, an apple means something. Everything is very particular. Everything is singular. You cannot assume it's the same. Everyone looks at the same moon, but the one with a bad heart looks at the moon differently. The scientist looks at the moon differently. The one who is longing for Allah and His Prophet, they look at the moon completely differently. So now the moon is what? It is a sign for a reality. That reality, that is inside of us. That reality, we experienced before. That reality, even if someone just sits down and starts thinking a little bit more, or be with, you do that one more time, I'm going to throw you up. 
Now is not the time to play. That reality, being with the people who will remind us and point us and train us to look properly, then we start seeing. You look at the moon, it means nothing. When you're a child, you look at the moon. Different. It's different, no? Once you start getting older and you say, I love to look at the moon, you study with an astronomer who says, now look at the moon, you see it completely differently. Then he gives you a telescope, now look at the moon, you see it completely differently. Now, what is the wisdom of believing in the unseen? Because the unseen is real. Because believing in the seen, it is complete foolishness. It is the seen, it is a complete lie. The seen, it is imagination. What they say, it is alam khayal. This is Maya. You understand? Which prophet says this world is real? None. Which book, holy book, in any tradition that says this world is real? None. They always say this is a dream. This is a dream. Now the point is we have to wake up to understand that this is a dream. This is what the prophets are doing. He says, don't, don't, don't be in the dream. Because in the dream, it looks so real, no? When we are in the dream, everything, it doesn't make sense. But it's so real, it makes sense in the dream. But when you wake up, you understand, oh, it's a dream. It means something else also. It's not what it is. This world is a dream. The prophets came to wake us up. May we hold on to them strongly, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. As much as enough.